So here is a newest hexacopter build. Um, this is a frame that my friend bought and I put it together for him. Um, it's a Hobby King frame. It's a I'm not sure which model exactly, but it's the uh, it's a folding hexacopter. I think it was around 20 bucks. These aluminum arms they fold, so it's the folding frame, and so it makes it easy for transport. It's a combination of carbon fiber plates with uh, a bunch of screws or bolts, I should say, bolts and nuts. Um, a set of crab leg landing gear with carbon fiber tubes um, with mounting plates for um, your camera gimbals or anything else you want to mount. I do want to make a comment though that Hobby King in this kit they screwed up this landing gear that normally you should be able to let's see here put a light on it um, these don't slide directly into the crab landing gear. I had to zip tie them on. These tubes were too big. Um, I'm not sure what happened. Maybe they just mixed up the the different size carbon fiber tubes. So, running DT750 motors that uh, I took off my other hexacopter and uh, 10 by 4.5 inch slow fly props. Probably want to uh, change these over to something better, but that's what uh, I have on hand. For a flight controller, it's running, let's see it here. It's running the ArduPilot uh, Mega 2.6 uh, with a U-Block 6M GPS. Also running connected to it is a telemetry kit, which I'll show you in a minute how it works. But here's the transmitter module, the antenna pointing downward, um, and running a 9XR transmitter and a 9X8C um, Turnigy receiver. And I should mention that the ESCs are the nice and reliable 20 amp uh, regular Hobby King ESCs flashed with Simon K. I'll show you a view of the bottom of the hexacopter. Some Velcro for the battery placement. Um, you can see here how the landing gear is mounted. Just kind of with some tubing some carbon fiber tube and it goes through those rubber grommets that then is bolted directly onto or um, yeah onto the bottom plate and that's about it I'm gonna grab a scale oh and I also have a, a battery uh, voltage monitor alarm at least and so that way you know uh, if you run low or what the status of the battery is I'm going to grab a scale and weigh and see how much uh, how much this weighs, um, and also connect up um, the 3DR radio just to show you how the uh, the Droid Planner works, or at least show you that the radio connectivity. I won't get into any details of how how that works so much as because I haven't actually really played with it, um, but my friend will have lots of fun playing with this. I think uh, it's pretty cool. So I had to get a little creative to weigh this because the landing gear is so high. So I have it stuck on a jar of peanuts. So I've zeroed out the scale and it comes in at 1434 grams. And that is without the battery. Okay, now I'm going to show you how the 3DR radio works or at least show you that it works on my connected to my smartphone. So I have an OTG connector, on the go connector. So it goes from mini USB to regular USB and then hooks into this uh, radio telemetry ground module. Um, and it comes I think in two frequencies. This one is in uh, 900 megahertz. 
So I'm just going to plug the battery in. I'm just using a, a small lipo just to power everything up for at the moment, but you wouldn't fly with a lipo this small on a, a hexacopter this big. This so should turn on the radio. So right now, this is already transmitting data over to this module. So the data is coming from here, coming receiving on this side, and then it I downloaded this Droid Planner 2. <clears throat> so I'm just going to hit connect. Connect GPS 3D lock. So it even said that there's a, it even tells you when there's a 3D GPS uh, lock, which is kind of cool. And it just shows you, like, this is my house, um, and the, this is the, um, this is where the, I think one is the actual radio, like this module, and then one is the actual radio module on the craft. So this one here. So if I were to rotate the craft, if you keep an eye on this orange, orange one here, I hope I'm not too shaky. As I rotate it, it rotates. It's pretty cool. So right now it's sending back actual telemetry data. And if I click on this, this brings up um I really should have a tripod for this. When I point the nose up, you can see that the horizon here moves like so up and down left and right so it is sending back telemetry data as I move the craft so that's that's really cool and it, it tells you different things I think you can arm it from here which I won't do inside um, I haven't actually played with all these features but I just wanted to show you how oops how it works. So it's pretty cool. I believe there's also a mission planner. There's an editor. So you can do waypoints. So you can draw out how you want something to fly and then it'll show you, it'll follow the path. I haven't tried it but uh, it's pretty cool. So anyways, that just shows you how easy it is to connect these two modules. Basically all I did was I plugged this module here I'm going to use my flashlight here because my lighting isn't the best. So this module right here plugs into the telemetry port of the APM. And I have another APM right here which I can show you. So the GPS, the GPS plugs into that and then it also hives off power from the I2C port and then the telemetry port is right there. So that is where the telemetry module gets plugged in. So overall it's fairly easy to set up um, and it works pretty much plug and play for the telemetry anyway. Getting APM to actually um, hook up to your computer and get do all the radio calibration sometimes can be a, a bit of a pain but uh, that uh, that I won't get into. There's lots of other people out there who do videos. But this is just a quick overview of uh, this hexacopter. Next, I'm going to take it out for a flight, and uh, it'll be done and ready for my buddy, and uh, he can have fun with it. So, anyways, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll do a I'll do a flight video after this. Okay, we're outside. I have the telemetry kit hooked up to my phone. I should mention that you can plug this directly into your computer and use Flight Planner or mission planner right on the computer if you have a laptop out in the field. Uh, I'm going to push arm. Instead of arming it pulling to the left, I can just push this and arm it, which is kind of cool. So here's the copter. So I'll just push arm. Just warning, propellers will spin and drone may begin to fly. I've already tested this and I know it won't. So I hit that. It's armed or it's arming. See, it even told me that it's armed. 
I'm gonna get a little throttle, power it up. I'll just do a quick flight on the deck. And I also have channel six set up the gain for the, uh, not gain, to, um, to calibrate the PIDs. able to watch this but uh, I think it tracks maybe what I've done. Let me see flight data. It even told me it's disarmed. Anyways, it seems to work well. It's working anyway. So this is uh, an overview of uh, a Hobby King Hexacopter frame, the folding one, aluminum arms, um, running DT750 motors with 10 by 4.5 props, Ardu Pilot 2.6 running firmware version 3 point, 3 point something, I'm not, it's the newest one as of today. Um, I think they did an update back in August or so with a telemetry kit and on a 9XR radio. So. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, until the next video.